Etched to the breaking point, that's how Richmond Public Schools Superintendent Jason Cameras describes the state of school leaders, according to an email sent to the school board and obtained by CBS 6. Tyler Lane spoke with parents and school board members about the ongoing tension. And Tyler, the COO of Richmond Public Schools, is resigning? Yeah, that's correct. The chief operating officer and now Superintendent Cameras is warning of operational delays because of it. Now, some parents are blaming the school board for creating a tense political climate, while others say the board is just doing its job by holding the administration accountable. Um, I'm a little bit confused. Richmond mom Amanda James says she's worried about the state of her school district. It shouldn't be like us versus them. James believes five members on the school board consistently oppose recommendations by Superintendent Jason Cameras on several key issues that impact students and staff. For example, River City Middle rezoning, George with high construction, and the hiring of a chief wellness officer. I'm concerned with the adversarial relationship that we're seeing. Because um, I don't know how you're supposed to compromise and come to any solutions when one side is just saying no. Every time there's a battle, it becomes political. Meanwhile, RPS dad Scott Garnett applauds the school board majority for holding the administration accountable. There's a checks and balances here, and you can't just have somebody doing something unchecked. He points to operational missteps, including one that the CBS 6 problem solvers have reported extensively on in the aftermath of the fire at Fox. You look at the fire alarms. We've known about the problems with the fire panels for months and yet we didn't address them, and now three blocks from here we have a burnt down elementary school. Now, Superintendent Cameron says his team is stretched to a breaking point. In an email sent to the board, first reported and obtained by CBS 6, he announces the resignation of his chief operating officer, Alana Gonzalez, and he cites a political climate in which she felt harassed, undermined, and demeaned. He adds her absence will lead to operational delays. This as construction plans for building a new George with and renovating Fox are underway, in which a COO would manage. We will be delayed. At a Monday press event, Superintendent Cameras told me he didn't have time to answer questions, but I did catch up with school board member Shell Burke, who says RPS will feel the impacts of losing its COO. That's your finances. That's your food services. That's the maintenance on the buildings. The list is goes on and on and on. And she agrees RPS is at a breaking point. We are. It's inevitable. It's been coming. Now, meanwhile, Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad, the school board chair, who was part of that five majority on the board, disagrees with the superintendent, says Fox with and all other projects will proceed just fine and without delay in the absence of a COO.